you think Tesla already changed the world? No. That was just the tutorial level. Because right now, quietly, invisibly, something far bigger is unfolding. Something the competition hasn't noticed, and you probably haven't either. You see the cars, the badges, the memes. You think, that's the revolution. But what if I told you the cars were never the point? What if the Model Y, the Cybertruck, even the cheap Tesla everyone's waiting for are just camouflage, a distraction hiding a machine, an ecosystem so vast it doesn't just disrupt industries, it rewrites how energy flows, how factories think, and how work itself exists. Because while every legacy automaker is busy copying moves from 2020, Tesla in 2025 is playing a game no one else can even see, a five-part master plan that doesn't compete with car companies, it consumes them. And once you understand it, you'll realize we're not watching a car company evolve, we're watching a new era boot up. This playbook has five moves, five strikes. One, the unboxed process, tearing down a century of assembly line tradition. Two, the 48-volt architecture, rewiring the nervous system, aiming for ignition. Three, the 4680 cell, the key to cost and range, breaking the restriction. Four, end-to-end -end AI, the chat GPT moment for driving moving past fiction. And five, Optimus, putting that AI on two legs, a machine on a mission. Any single one of these disrupts the game, but all five stacked. It's a fortress, an insurmountable lead. You need to understand the most profound weapon in Tesla's arsenal today isn't a vehicle. It's the factory. Musk calls it the machine that builds the machine. But that's not just a slogan anymore. It's the reality. Enter the unboxed process. For a hundred years we've bowed to one king. Henry Ford's assembly line. You know the scene. A metal skeleton. A body in white crawling down a linear track. It's a slow sequential march. Add the engine. Add the seats. Add the doors. But that system is fundamentally flawed. It's a dinosaur. Think about the friction. The whole line moves at the speed of the slowest hand. One delay, and the whole world stands still. A total bottleneck. You have robots and humans doing a cramped, chaotic dance, fighting for space inside a steel cage, trying to screw in a bolt without missing a beat. And the line itself, rigid, unforgiving. You want to change the model? Good luck. It's a nightmare to retool. It's heavy. It's slow. And frankly, it's costing you a fortune. So Tesla's unboxed method throws that entire 100-year-old concept in the trash. Instead of one long, slow line, the factory is organized into parallel process chunks. Think of it like building a Lego car. You'd never build the frame first and then try to stuff the little driver through the tiny window. It's absurd. You'd build the floor. You'd build the front block, the rear block, the cabin, and then at the very end, you just click them all together. This is exactly what the unboxed process does. Imagine this. Over in one corner of the factory, that massive front giga casting is getting its motor, its suspension, its steering. At the exact same time, in another corner, the rear giga casting is getting its motor. And simultaneously, the central floor pan, which is the 4680 structural battery pack, is being prepped. The real magic open access. Workers and robots have a full 360 degree attack. You want to install a dashboard? It's simple. There's no roof. There are no doors. In the way. It is massively faster. It's more ergonomic. Then, and only then, do these huge pre-assembled, pre-tested modules meet the front, the rear, the painted side sections. They're all joined to that structural pack in one final step. The results? Tesla claims a staggering 40% reduction in factory footprint, a 25-30% to 30 increase in production speed, all while slashing the cost to build the factory in the first place. This isn't just an improvement, it's a new paradigm. This is the only way Tesla can realistically build that $25,000 car at high volume, and most importantly, at high margin. But, here's the secret. That unboxed method, that whole Lego block strategy is only possible because of another Tesla innovation gigacasting. You have to understand, traditionally, a car's underbody is a complex puzzle. We're talking 70, 100, even more different stamped metal pieces. All of them have to be painstakingly welded together by a massive body shop of hundreds and hundreds of robots. Tesla's Gigapress, a machine the size of a small building, throws all that out. It casts the entire front or rear underbody as a single piece of aluminum. Just that one innovation, it eliminates over 300 robots, it erases 600 plus welds, it frees up a massive amount of factory space. The resulting part is stronger, it's lighter and it is critically, unbelievably faster and cheaper to make. 
that single giga part is the Lego block that the unboxed method is built on. While competitors are just now scrambling to order their first giga presses, they're already years behind because Tesla isn't just ahead in the machine. It has a multi-year lead in the metallurgy, the secret sauce, that special aluminum alloy that is strong, not brittle, and perfectly castable at high speed. That is a deep, costly moat. And for legacy automakers with their billion-dollar investments in those old-world body shops, crossing it might be impossible. So, you have the unboxed skeleton. Now you need a nervous system, and for over 60 years, the entire auto industry has been locked into a dying standard, a 12-volt system. You have to understand this 12-volt standard was designed for simple machines. A car with lights, a radio, and maybe power windows. But today, your car is a supercomputer on wheels. And that 12-volt system, it's become a critical bottleneck. The problem is just basic physics. You've heard the equation power equals voltage times current. If you want more power, say for faster moving seats, a more powerful audio system, or the advanced steer-by-wire you see in the Cybertruck, you have to raise either the voltage or the current. And since the industry has been stuck at 12 volts, their only option was to drastically increase the current. The result, thick, heavy expensive copper wires to manage the heat and the load. We're talking about a wiring harness in a modern luxury car that can weigh over 50 kilograms. That's over 110 pounds. It's miles of copper. It's one of the most complex, costly, and manually installed parts in the entire vehicle. Worse, you hit a hard limit. You simply cannot run the high power systems of the future on a 12-volt rail. Not efficiently, not safely. So, what does Tesla do? They change the equation by moving to a 48-volt system first in the Cybertruck and now standard on their next-gen platform, they flip the table. Think about it, to get the exact same amount of power, if you multiply the voltage by 4, you can divide the current by 4. That is a profound change. A 4 times reduction in current means you can use wires that are dramatically thinner, dramatically lighter, and dramatically cheaper. And the power you lose as heat drops by a factor of 16. The Cybertruck's wiring harness is a fraction of the size of a normal truck's. This saves money, this reduces weight, which increases range, and it massively simplifies that unboxed manufacturing process we just talked about. It's the key that unlocks the Ethernet data bus where a single cable can finally carry both power and data, destroying the one wire per function nightmare of the past. But this is the part that should have every legacy automaker terrified. This shift to 48 volts, it's not just an internal change. It is a shockwave to the entire global supply chain. For decades, companies have perfected the 12-volt world. All those window motors, the pumps, the fans, they are all 12-volt. By moving to 48 volts, Tesla is effectively making its entire parts list obsolete. Suppliers now have to re-engineer, retool, and revalidate everything. A company like Ford or GM, they can't just switch. They are being held hostage by a supply chain that simply isn't ready. But Tesla, because they designed so many of their own controllers, their own components, they can force the change. Their vertical integration lets them absorb the complexity. While their competitors, they're left tethered to a 60-year-old standard, adding yet another layer to Tesla's massive manufacturing and cost advantage. So, your factory is fast. Your car's nervous system is efficient, but you still have a massive problem, energy, the car still needs a breakthrough to be affordable for everyone, and that breakthrough is the 4680 battery cell. The name, it's just the dimensions, 46 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters tall, but its design, that is the revolution. Now, you need to understand how impossibly difficult this is. It is the holy grail of battery manufacturing. It's the main reason the 4680 ramp up was so slow. The old wet method is like painting a wall. It's slow, but the paint spreads evenly. The dry method is like trying to spread a layer of fine dust perfectly evenly on a wall, make it stick, and do it at lightning speed. It's like trying to compress fine gravel into a perfect mirror. And as of 2025, Giga Texas is finally scaling it. This process doesn't just promise to cut factory footprint and energy use by 10 times. Internal reports are already clear. The 4680